Hello and welcome to Math 114. My name is Jenny McNutt and I will be your instructor this semester. So welcome to class. This is just a quick introductory video um, to hit some of the highlights as you read through the syllabus and to make sure that you have a face kind of attached to the voice you're going to hear on some of those um, especially chapter one and chapter two videos. So to hit some highlights, um, there will be a test matching, I believe there are five tests, I don't have it right in front of me, um, matching our units. And then when we get to the end of the semester, if you're happy with your grade, you do not need to take the final. But if you feel like maybe there is one test that you would like to try again, the final exam is multiple choice, it's comprehensive, and it will replace um, your lowest exam score, so that's really important to note. Um, the next thing that I want to make sure everybody's aware of is that chapter one and two, this, this class has a lot of content, and so if you're starting from the very first section, um, maybe it's been years or decades since you've been in a math class, um, then you're going to need to go through, and I would really encourage you to keep pace. I would encourage all of you to keep pace. But if you're coming out with some, maybe your last math class with some skills in place, or maybe you're straight out of high school, and you feel like the material in Chapter 1 and 2 is really um, quick for you, and you have those skills already, then you can pretest your way out of both Chapter 1 and 2. You still need to take the test. And I feel like that's a good thing because then that will average a really high test score in for you. But if you can um, score a certain number on the pretest, then I give you a pass from completing the homework. Um, the videos are there to help you. So if you, again, if you're able to do the homework without the videos, that's, that's fine. But um, if not, the videos are there to have you go through and take notes and pause and rewind and go back and do all of those necessary things. Um, there's a variety of videos. Sometimes you're going to see me um, like this in front of a whiteboard. Other times my actual, my pantry door in my home is a chalkboard. So when we first... Um, went into quarantine last March. I finished out the spring 2020 semester teaching on that chalkboard. So some of those video videos I redo as well. And then other ones are just me talking while you see the pen kind of writing on a computer screen. And that is what I did for chapter one and two because that way I can give you a PDF kind of outline of what problems I'm gonna do. And so hopefully that will cut down on some of your note taking time as well. Um, I'd like to point out that occasionally, here's my disclaimer, occasionally I do make a math error in a classroom setting. Um, somebody would clearly raise their hand and be like, hey, you added wrong or something like that. When I'm doing a video, I don't always have that person to, to put me in check. Um, even as early as the second video in chapter one, <laughs> I said that a negative times a negative is a negative, which clearly is not true, and I corrected myself within like 10 seconds. So text, email, let me know how I can help. Some of our tests are going to need to be proctored. The first unit test, chapter one and two combined, make unit one. That test is on my math lab, and so... Um, Give me a few weeks, I'll open up that test window, and you can take that unproctored. But three of our five exams need to be proctored per GCC guidelines. So um, those are the highlights. So welcome. Um, I hope you all success and uh, reach out for help when needed. Thanks so much. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. Bye-bye.